hair transplantation today, if you use follicular unit transplantation, you use artistic design, um, use the latest techniques, you should be able to give people hair transplants that don't look like hair transplants. My goal, if I'm creating a new hairline for someone, my goal is to make it so that people don't pay any attention to their hairline. I'm not going to give someone a hairline where someone says, wow, what a great hairline. Where'd you get your hair transplant? You want people to basically ignore it. So when you're talking to someone, you look at their eyes. Then your eyes wander around a little bit. And if you, wind, if you find someone's eyes wandering up to your hairline and they stay there for a while, then that's no good. So my aim is to give someone a natural looking hairline. We want to give them enough density that the hair doesn't look too thin. Um, we expect that the hair will look reasonably full when it's dry and styled. It should look similar to the hair on the sides of their head as well from the front of view. We want to give them decent coverage. There's always a balancing point between density and coverage. You know, if you cover a bigger area, it's going to be less dense. If you cover an area more fully, you're going to use up more grafts in a smaller area. So you always have to kind of find the right balance for each person to, to reach their goals. We're not going to make anybody look like they've got a wig on. We're not going to make them look like they have hair like a 13-year-old. We're going to give them very natural looking results that people can't tell as a hair transplant.